Hello, I'm Paul Wilson. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create system speed call numbers on a Mitel MyVoice business, formerly known as the Mitel 3300. There are two basic methods we can use to do this. Uh, one's through the group administration tool, um, and slightly more complicated method using the system administration tool. We'll, we'll, we'll take the easy option first and go to the group admin tool. From the drop down menu, choose Manage System Speed Calls. You can see the existing system speed call list here. If we click Add, enter a speed call number. This is a number that the user dials to invoke the speed call. We use 5000 in this case. And the actual number is the, is the actual number dialed. Um, in this case, I'm going to use our office number. So 90330 The override toll control option enables the speed call number to bypass any call restrictions which might be in place on the user's extension. Um, for example, we might bar users generally from dialing international numbers, but we might need to create a system speed call for a, a particular number that, that users commonly dial that bypasses that call restriction. So if I set over control to yes, any user dialing 5000 will be able to dial the actual speed call number regardless of whether they would be manually able to dial it from their own phone. We'll leave the type set as S slash C, the default option. Click OK. And the speed call number has been added to the list. See it there. From this point, any user dialing 5000 would actually dial 90330 We can carry on adding speed call numbers at this point, or we can exit. To add a speed call number through the system administration tool is slightly more complicated, but, but same basic process. Into system admin tool, system properties, system feature settings, select the system speed calls form. You can see the number we added just a few minutes ago there at the top. We'll add a second number. Click add, enter the new speed call number 5001. And the actual number, in this case I'll use a mobile phone number instead, so 907-496-140-921. I'll leave override toll control set to no in this example. So, when override toll control set to no, the user must be able to dial the number manually from their own phone and not be restricted in any way. And we'll click save. Hit data refresh, should bring the number to the top of the list. And at this point, any user dialing 5001 on their extension will dial this mobile number with the only restriction that they must be able to dial the number manually because override toll control is set to no, as you can see here. 